So carbon monoxide detectors, and you and I have done some research on this and how important they are. Um, so first of all, tell me a little bit about carbon monoxide. Uh, carbon monoxide is a uh, colorless, odorless uh, gas that is, um, is a product of combustion uh, from burning fuel. Um, it's, they call it the silent killer because there's no one, you know, you don't really realize that it's, um, that it's affecting you in, until it's almost too late. You know, you could start getting a headache, you could start getting a little groggy or sleepy. Um, and without a carbon monoxide detector, you wouldn't know whether or not it was in the house or not. Um, anytime we install a new furnace or boiler, we always install a carbon monoxide, uh, combination carbon monoxide smoke detector. Um, you know within say six feet of the machine um, but then there needs to be um, a carbon monoxide detector on every occupied floor so if you have a three-story house or a two-story house on every single one of those floors um, you need to have a uh, carbon monoxide detector by law and the uh, the gas inspector will ask if those have been installed um, in the other areas of the home um, and you can't have too many you know so if you wanted to put one in every bedroom of the house um, they sell the ones that are, that, you know, we can install the ones that just plug into the wall, or we could also hardwire, um, you know, um, other ones throughout the house, depending on where you wanted them. Um, but yeah, um, and just make sure your batteries are good in those, always make sure that, you know, the power's on to them, because that's your, your only line of defense against carbon monoxide if, um, if there is some in the house. So I know that um, we, we had looked up some numbers. Uh, what did you find as far as how carbon monoxide if it has annual deaths still yeah I found the that, that there's an average of 500 people per year that are killed from carbon monoxide uh, poisoning um, and you know and it happens around the area all the time you know it's it's um, you know you see news stories where you know the fire department went out and they uh, the carbon monoxide detectors were going off and they ended up shutting the house down shutting the gas off to the house because they um, either the furnace had failed or, or something that was you know burning fuel had um, had introduced the carbon monoxide, and you know that's something that during a during a regular uh, maintenance or a tune-up, our um, our technicians do put a camera into the heat exchanges to see if there's any types of cracks or holes, um, and if there is, then you know we would shut the gas off to the machine and inform them that they would need to replace that heat exchanger or that machine, and um, and then we would take it from there. Yeah, I had done some research and it was. Um from the patch.com, I found a family in Western Mass. The entire family, all of them had carbon monoxide poisoning. Yeah. So yeah, it's a, it was a mother, father, and uh, son. I think it was. Yeah, 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 three of them. And so it's a big deal, and it's nothing to ignore. Um, is there something to look for in buying a specific type of carbon monoxide detector, or is it just they're yeah, all the same? Yeah, uh, as far as I, I don't really know too too many differences. Um, I just would say you know buy a good name brand um, carbon monoxide detector. And uh, any of our electricians or our HVAC techs would be would be happy to go over um, you know the different options of as far as carbon monoxide detectors and, um, and stuff like that. Absolutely. Okay, so carbon monoxide detectors have them on every floor of livable space. So if it's a multifamily unit, it's a, just a big house, just you need them on every floor at least. Every every occupied floor. Yep. Okay.